Have you ever felt that deep, burning ache in your stomach, the kind that shows up late at night or in between meals? It can be easy to brush off, but sometimes that discomfort is actually your body sending a warning, one that might point to a stomach ulcer. Let's take a closer look at how ulcers form and what really causes them. Think of your stomach as a busy chemical lab producing strong acids and enzymes to break down the food you eat into usable energy. These digestive juices are so strong they could damage living tissue. But here's the amazing part. Your stomach has its own shield, a protective lining that keeps the acid from eating into the walls of stomach beneath. The trouble begins when that shield weakens. Without enough protection, the acid that normally helps you digest can start to harm your stomach itself, leaving painful open sores known as ulcers. For years, people believed stress and spicy foods were the main culprits. While they can definitely make symptoms worse, they usually aren't the root cause. The truth is that most ulcers trace back to two main sources. The first is a tiny spiral-shaped bacterium called Helicobacter pylori, or H. pylori for short. It's more common than you might think, living in the stomachs of about half the world's population. In many people, it stays quiet. But in some, it damages the stomach's natural defenses, giving acid the chance to burn through the lining and form ulcers. The second big factor is the long-term use of certain painkillers, known as NSAIDs. Things like aspirin, ibuprofen, or naproxen. These medications are helpful for headaches, joint pain, or fevers, but they can also block the stomach's protective chemicals. Over time, this leaves the stomach wall more vulnerable to damage from its own acid. There are a few less common causes, too. Rare conditions like Zollinger, Ellison syndrome can flood the stomach with excess acid. Serious illness or major physical stress can also trigger ulcers. But for most people, it comes down to either bacteria or frequent painkiller use. So, how do you know if you might have an ulcer? Many people feel a burning or gnawing pain in the upper belly, often when the stomach is empty. Others feel full quickly, bloated, or nauseated. And sometimes, ulcers don't cause noticeable symptoms at all until they become severe enough to bleed or, in rare cases, burn a hole right through the stomach wall. That's why persistent stomach pain should never be ignored. The good news? Ulcers are highly treatable. If H. pylori is the cause, antibiotics combined with acid-reducing medicines usually clear it up. If pain relievers are behind it, adjusting or stopping them can help. Doctors often prescribe medications like proton pump inhibitors, which lower acid levels and give the stomach lining time to heal. And healthy choices, like avoiding smoking, limiting alcohol, and eating balanced meals, help speed up recovery and prevent ulcers from coming back. In 2005, two scientists, Barry Marshall and Robin Warren, won the Nobel Prize for proving that bacteria, not just stress, because most ulcers, to convince the world, Marshall even drank a sample of the bacteria himself and developed stomach inflammation, proving his theory right. So the next time someone says spicy food alone causes ulcers, you'll know better. Ulcers aren't about what's on your plate. They're about how your stomach protects itself and what happens when that protection breaks down. Stay curious, take care of your stomach, and remember... Understanding how your body works is one of the best tools you have for staying healthy. Stay one step ahead of your health. Subscribe today and join our community of curious minds.